Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy a static HTML project to Firebase. Let's get started. So what you have to do is visit firebase.google.com or firebase.com to bring you to this particular page. When you get here, you have to click go to console. So when you get here, you simply add a project. So I'm going to name this project audio wave front so because this name is unique and hasn't been used by anybody on firebase it will give me access to this particular name or word without any extra um characters so if i choose if i choose app because some, sorry audio because someone has already hosted an app with the name audio on firebase it gives some alphanumeric uh, characters at the end so that's something that you should take note of so audio front wave front and over here you simply have to choose whether or not you want to track your project or manage your analytics with uh, google analytics or not you can uncheck this particular toggle button or you can simply keep it on when you keep it on it will allow you to create a new account or if you already have existing ones you can simply choose that one so now it's creating the project so we wait for it to finish so now that it is finished you click continue and it will bring you to this particular page so your project has successfully been created so there are three main types of projects you can host on firebase either an ios app an Android app or a web application. So we choose the web. The name of our project is Audio Wavefront. And then this is very, very important because we, uh, we are simply using the host functionality, hosting functionality of Firebase. So you have to check this particular box. So register app. You have to install Firebase. Over here in our project, I'm going to open the terminal, Control J, and then do npm init dash y. If you do not have npm or npm through is an error, you need to install Node.js. So I'll link add the, the link in the description. So when you visit this particular site, you choose this particular option. Because that's the most stable one. So you install Node.js and you'll be able to run npm in it. That's why. So the name of the project is Wavefront. It does this. End. And this is the file that is generated by the command that we just ran. So away from here, we can either use npm to install Firebase in our project or we can use the script stack approach so i'll use this particular approach since we are working with a static project so i'll copy it and then paste it before the closing body body tag and save it so the next step is to install firebase tools so you have to run this command npm install dash gene firebase tools if you don't have it but i already have it so i wouldn't be doing that command so the next thing that we do is firebase login so it will enable us to log in with our google account so i'll say firebase login because I already I have already logged in on my terminal, it will it will not run any extra command. So the next step is to do Firebase in it. Firebase in it. So over here it comes with some options. So we are going to use keys like the space bar and enter to control a few things and the arrow keys as well. So over here, we are looking for the host functionality. So configure files, we choose this particular option, configure files for Firebase hosting and optionally set 
Google Action deploys. So you press the space bar to select that particular one and hit enter. So because we, we have already created a particular project already, we simply press enter for the first option. We are using an existing project. So we scroll through using the down arrow and then press enter. This is the project that we just created. So you press enter. On Firebase, the default folder that is being deployed is called public. So over here we can use public or we can rename it to something else. So we have to put all the static files into one folder called host. And then I can So I've moved all the static files into this particular host folder. So over here, I renamed the folder to host. And then you can simply press enter, enter, and then say no for this part because we do not want it to re uh, overwrite our index. So now we are done with the setup. So the last command that we need to run is Firebase deploy. So now we have our static project hosted on Firebase for free. So when you visit audiowavefront.web.app, you will see this particular project there. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and leave us a comment. If you use this project to host your static HTML project, you can leave the link in the description so that you can also get some visitors. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. See you next time.